The work that Hutchings has been doing, mm -hmm. he has Tesla coils, he has Van de Graaff, and he has, mm -hmm. very frankly, static electricity generators. Mm -hmm. Notice that data doesn't have to make sense. Right. Data just has to be truthful. The, the, the truth. That's right. It's more important than proving Einstein right or wrong. Okay, now, now, now his, his data showed everything from a, a chocolate milkshake snaking toward the top of his room mm -hmm. uh, to bowling balls floating in the air mm -hmm. to I, I have all his data and I've been and I, I've been uh, you know following it I am a senior scientist from Lockheed Martin I have been a senior research engineer for Howard Hughes Texas Instruments nevertheless uh, We've been uh, we've been working for some time now in order to determine where the next energy levels are going to come from. We uh, now by that I mean we aren't talking about wind or solar or or even atomic. We have uh, we have we have other formats of energy that uh, that we've theoretically proven that are uh, that are available. Not only that, but uh, there have been significant developments. And many times the things that we look at and call UFOs are really some of some of the developments that we've been involved with. It, it Lockheed has been involved with? Are these, some of the UFOs we're seeing you believe are ours, the United States military? Well, Area 51 uh, is literally where the majority of the uh, things that we call the black program mm -hmm. were developed and uh, many times sightings would occur directly associated with them. As I conducted uh, tests, every now and then nature would not give us what we wanted, mm -hmm. but it gave us something else. Something else. And I would sweep it under the rug because it didn't match theory. So do you and after a while, I said that is not honest. Mm -hmm. That is not proper. Mm -hmm. You have to. You must record the data properly. And and indeed, once you record the data, then you start modifying the theory. Einstein's work is only a slight modification of Newton's work, mm -hmm. but yeah, but we 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 do understand that uh, Newton's work has well Newton's work, for example, Newton says uh, um, says uh, says anything that's in motion tends to remain in motion, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so I have something. And I'm taking it. I'm taking it around counterclockwise, mm -hmm. and see. It, and and what Newton said is true. He just wants to go around, 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 around. This particular thing is called a celt. It is not. It's clear plastic. There's nothing in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to take it around clockwise. It says no. I don't want to do that. It's just like my children. I will do it my own way. How did it go the other way? Precisely, a Newton's law. Is that because of the rotation of the planet, or? Well, there's there. Can I try that? You may. In fact, first so of all, I'll send it around counterclockwise. Okay. Counterclockwise. And this is called this is called a cell. It is celt, C E L T. What's in it? Okay, okay. there we go. Nothing's in it. It's plastic. Okay, now take it around clockwise. Okay. And it says no, I, and it goes back the same number of turns you said. Oh, I've never seen now anything go, like now, that. Now go out stronger. I know. See, I'm looking for the exception to the rule. Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to, if you can use language, you really need to convert it into mathematics yep. and calculate what your theory would say that it would do. A lot of people are doing nothing more than getting huge, huge quantities of mass and see if they can get a a gravity wave to cause things to move. Mm -hmm. Well, that isn't what, what we're talking about at all. Mm -hmm. So I uh, wondered if gravity could be uh, 
related to its cousin magnetism. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, I found that when I take two magnets together, I have some neodymiums around here that I'm actually afraid of. They, They're they so can, strong. They can, they can danger you. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, you take a magnet, you go to put them together and go, and they go clunk, right? Mm -hmm. But you take one of them, move it around, and all of a sudden, it doesn't want to yeah, go right. together. Yeah, right. The repulsive. So I got, uh, I had, I ordered one at five thousand dollars a piece, wow. with 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 a quarter inch hole through between both of them and I put a brass bolt and I tighten them down forcing them together mm -hmm. and then I put them together in a thing that looks kind of like a rock mm -hmm. okay and then I got another one that didn't have magnets in it mm -hmm. and uh, Galileo in, in all his endeavors he went up to the leaning tower of Pisa and dropped the and he dropped a big rock and a small rock mm -hmm. and his buddy down the bottom kept telling him that the large rock, rock and the small rock arrived at the same time. Well, in my left hand I have a, a feather. In my right hand a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings and on the move. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? It proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. Okay. Well, I went up to in, in the Lockheed Building 501 Mm -hmm. by the side of escalators and, and elevators. Oh, wow. And I got, I got, uh, I got, I got uh, nine guys that were not educated and didn't have pre, didn't have uh, pre-opinions on anything. Mm -hmm. And I dropped my two rocks. Mm -hmm. And, and I said, fall. what I would like you to do is, I told them what I'd like you to do is I would like you to take whichever one arrives first get it in your hand, and when I come down the elevator, hand it to me. Mm -hmm. Now, they looked identical, except for... So, uh, and nobody one. knew what was inside? Not, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. All the nine times that I tested it, it's as though the one with the opposing magnet field extending out mm -hmm. three feet on each side, I actually measured how, how far big the field is. How big the field was. And on each side of, a rock, the, of one rock, I had a total of six feet. Uh, at any rate, the other the other rock arrived first. Which one arrived first? The, the, one, the one that had no magnetic field in it. So you were able to cancel out gravity to a certain degree. You were I mean, able like to that. cancel, Precisely. reduce the mass gravity effect. Precisely. By, okay. po by opposing fields. Isn't that nice? You, you bet. And got nine signatures and wit. I always skip... You, know, you I, did that at Lockheed? I, what what year was this? Oh, uh, at least eight years ago. This is um, the actual document of Boyd's where mm -hmm. he proved that by altering mm -hmm. the, the field mm -hmm. in a falling body, the magnetic field, it reduced its mass gravity equivalent and canceled out the uh, effects of gravity to a certain percentage. Mm -hmm. And he did a 500, a building 500 drop test conducted from a height of 59 feet. Mm -hmm. The location is in White Sullivan, Texas, and the time was 12.20 p.m. And this was in 1995, December 12th. Nobody yeah. knows this. I know it. This so gravity, is. mass gravity, is not. Um, well, it, you can alter it. In well, other words. gravity, uh, gravity within itself has to have. Gravity goes through anything that is solid and anything like iron or anything yeah. else. But I, it, but it has to have a magnetic component, mm -hmm. which may be canceling out within itself. Mm. But as soon as it got around my rock, it all of a sudden recognized the presence but somebody, of my rock. Uh, one of Einstein's students tried to merge electromagnetism and gravity, and he rejected it. But he didn't have an experiment like you no, did. No, I understand. I, yeah. I, I know that. Yeah. But, but, but see, we, you, nature never uses English. It doesn't speak. It doesn't speak any language. But yet it's talking to us all the time. Right. And the key thing is, is to identify, identify what it's saying.